have endured bitter hardship and countless battles. But at long last, our home planet has been restored. We would not be standing on Cybertronian soil were it not for the valiant efforts of both those assembled here and our absent comrades. Ratchet, who remains on Earth to safeguard our human friends, and Cliffjumper, who made the ultimate sacrifice. But on this day, at the dawn of a new era, we gather to bestow a special honor, one earned by Bumblebee, through his bravery and devotion to the cause of peace. Long before he rid this universe of the scourge of the Decepticon Warmonger. Megatron. 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 Unicron. I do not understand. Why am I not one with the Allspark? Do I yet live? You do not. Yet you cannot join the Allspark because my lifeblood once flowed through your veins. Dark Energon. It binds you to my anti-spark. Optimus Prime used the Matrix of Leadership to imprison you within the Earth's core. So how is it that you speak to me now? The foolish Prime rendered only my material form dormant. But my energy form was roused from slumber when I sensed the awakening of an ancient rival across the cosmos. Primus. So it would seem that Optimus succeeded in restoring Cybertron after my demise. I now wish to finish what I began eons ago. And for that, my anti-spark requires a vessel. So, I will live again? Only to serve me. Your husk will simply be an instrument of my will. of your fellow Autobots, in the presence of our creator Primus, the living core of our planet, and by the authority vested in me by the Matrix of Leadership, Bumblebee, arise a warrior. Nice warrior, one. big time. Go, B. Let's get this party started. Welcome to the club, B. Warrior today? Who knows? Prime tomorrow? Slow down, Smokey. I'm not sure I'd wish a Prime's responsibility on anyone. I am sorry to interrupt your celebration. Here it comes. Prime's never party. But I must take my leave of you. Sir, may I ask why? Though Cybertron is once again able to support life, our planet is currently incapable of generating new lives. Not until I retrieve the wellspring from which all life on Cybertron is born and ultimately returns. The Allspark. You mean it isn't here? Nor has it been, Smokescreen. Not for thousands of years. As the war for Cybertron reached a tipping point and the Decepticon army appeared to be unstoppable, I opted to safeguard the Allspark from Megatron. 
by covertly sending it to a distant sector of the galaxy. The matrix of leadership will enable me to guide us to its present location. What are we waiting for? Let's take the warship and bring it back. These remain dangerous times, Bumblebee. We cannot leave Cybertron unsecured. Not with Starscream and Shockwave unaccounted for. Not to mention our stray Predacon. Ultra Magnus, you will supervise patrols to find and capture the fugitive Decepticons. I would be honored. Bulkhead, you will lead the reconstruction effort. Begin by building a landing field to welcome returning refugees. Wheeljack, I will require your extensive experience navigating deep space. When do we leave? Superluminal space drive. Impressive. One of many upgrades that I made to your limited corporeal form, and wholly necessary to reach Cybertron. So, we are to rule together as one. You will rule nothing. I traveled to Cybertron for one reason only. To destroy Primus personally. But to destroy Primus is to destroy Cybertron. Thus will begin a new age. The Age of Chaos. Whoa, whoa! How are you gonna attach the cladding when the framing structure's incomplete, huh? <laughs> Labor issues? Any news of our fugitives? Just signs of recent scavenging in former Decepticon installations. The Con warship can't detect their life signals? Shockwave must have found a way to shield or disable them. I'll feel better when that gruesome twosome are locked up with the others. Prisoners of war, we have rights! When are we going to have access to an oil bath? Well, when are you gonna tell me where I can find your pals? Oh, I told you before. Shockwave had dozens of secret labs hidden across Cybertron. Top secret. A shame. Your finish is looking pretty drab. <clears throat> I don't know where they are, I swear. But I have an idea where you might try looking. Well, someone may want to think about renaming the Sea of Rust. I'm just saying. Though I was hoping more of us would be rushing back here to see it. You know, now that it's all bright and shiny. Cybertron will populate in time, kid. You have to remember, refugees could be returning from light years away. Movement. Two contacts at point eight four. Approach with caution. My name is Ultra Magnus. Are you Autobot or Decepticon? <laughs> Neither. Predacons.
Phage beats flame every time. the patient. He is suffering from a multitude of internal injuries, most quite severe. So anyone care to explain what two more Predacons are doing on Cybertron? I thought Optimus said new life wasn't possible without the AllSpark. I'm no authority, but something tells me cloning old bones doesn't constitute new life. Shockwave's been playing in his lab since the war. Why stop now? Doesn't matter where those beasts came from. We gotta take them down. If Shockwave's back in business, there could be more of them. A lot more. We need to call Optimus. Really, Bulk? And interrupt his quest to save the future of our race on Cybertron? Why send the AllSpark to Theta Scorpii? One of the most hazardous star systems in the galaxy. Precisely to deter Megatron from searching this region for it. With all the gamma bursts and planetoid collisions out here, how can you be sure it survived? The AllSpark itself is comprised of pure energy. In order to contain it and launch it off-world, Alpha Trion forged a vessel capable of extracting it from the ether. It is this indestructible reliquary we seek. Well, I'll try not to scratch the paint on this tub, but no promises. We cannot risk being stranded if our ship is damaged. It is best that you remain here, Wheeljack. You're the boss. Watch your step. Who made him leader? B did snuff Megatron. I'm not leading. I'm scouting. Fair enough. But you do realize we're nowhere near where we found those Predacons, right? We're not looking for those Predacons. I followed this Energon trail, which means he was wounded. And I know we aren't the ones who wounded him. Whoa, you mean we've been tracking? Greta King? Hold fire! Recognize this, Preda King? You served aboard Megatron's warship. Surely you're familiar with this little treasure from his vault? The Immobilizer. It causes instant stasis lock, though the victim remains fully conscious. A living death. But we didn't come here to fight, Your Highness. Then why have you violated my refuge, Autobot? We need answers. Do you know of any other Predacons currently on Cybertron? Indeed, legions of them. Behold, my subjects. A countless multitude, rendered extinct ages ago by the Great Cataclysm, unearthed by the shifting of plates during our planet's restoration. 
Yeah, well, me and Ultra Magnus just about got scrapped by two living Predacons. Know anything about them, your highness? Two? Where? We came to ask your help in finding them. For revenge? No. Optimus Prime would deem it a tragedy to stain Cybertron's fresh soil with any newly spilled energon. So help us prove what Megatron was never willing to. That more than one race can peacefully coexist on our planet. You assume that because I turned against Megatron, I can forgive the Autobots their role in the destruction of my brethren on Earth? Leave me be, and dare not trespass here again. Returned, partner. I trust you haven't strained yourself tinkering in your lab while I was toiling in the field like a common drone. I mean, I seem to supply old bones faster than you grow new clones. Starscream, given our lack of infrastructure and frequent need to relocate in order to avoid detection, it is not logical to expect greater productivity at this point in time. At least your new clones lack the arrogance of your last effort. The one who named himself Predaking. Be careful, you clumsy brutes! Where have you been? Gutting Autobots. <laughs> what? You were ordered to avoid all contact with the enemy! <laughs> I don't hear you laughing now, Dark Steel. We weren't followed. Fools! Now that they know of your existence, we have lost the element of surprise! <laughs> the Autobots are weak. They fled like cowards. We have no need to fear them. Perhaps, Skylinks. But we must not underestimate them either. Their treacherous scout was able to fell the mighty Megatron. Rest his spark. As such, it is paramount that we harvest the CNA necessary to clone more of you. Many more of you. So that we may build an army of beasts great enough to eradicate the Autobots and conquer Cybertron. In Lord Megatron's memory and name. What makes you think we'll find Shockwave's cloning lab here? Yeah, wasn't Dark Mount Megatron's military HQ? If the intel I received from Knockout is accurate... We'll find a map of Shockwave's entire lab network in the Citadel's data bank. Not good. Optimus, plasma storm incoming. Get out of there. That all spark container may be indestructible, but you aren't. I am too close to turn back. Lord Smokescreen, Emperor of Destruction. How can you sit there? That's some bad mojo. What do you know? Knockout actually shot straight for once. What'd you have to do? Buff his finish? Close. Let's download the data and get out of here. Hey. Something's heading our way. Predaking? Moving too fast. Starscream? Minion 
signs of the prime. Prepare to be obliterated. Megatron? You skewered Buckethead with a giant saber and managed to miss his spark? How are you still alive? And where'd you score the upgrade? Megatron cannot answer you at this moment. Though I can inform you with utmost authority that he owes his new lease on life to me, Unicron. And I will not be so easy to deliver into oblivion. Some pest. That pest is the very one who robbed me of my spark. And now I possess the power to return the favor. You possess nothing. It is I who possess all that you were and ever will be. We need to retreat. The only way out is down. We can't call for a ground bridge until we put some space between Unicron and us. Behold my infinite might! Let's roll. Pit. Cybertron's been dormant for thousands of years, but that's still burning? Ratchet, we need a ground bridge. <laughs> Optimus, if we don't get out of here right now... Optimus! That's why he's prime. Cutting it a little close, don't you think? Wheeljack, set a course for Cybertron. Hang on to your hubcaps. That's the future of life on Cybertron, huh? I kind of figured it'd be bigger. Hold tight!
Prime. You will now join your brethren. You got that right. Merciless attack drove the Autobots into submission. They fled for their very sparks. A victory over unworthy opponents, especially one that did not result in their demise, is far from an achievement. Clearly, our improved state is not enough to accomplish the deed for which I have come. For that, I shall require a much greater instrument of destruction. How is this happening? I mean, we put out a call inviting refugees back to Cybertron, and Unicron's the first in line? Not to mention those Predacons. What have we come home to? What are we supposed to call them, huh? Megacron? Unitron? Really? That's your biggest issue right now. <sighs> right, right. All right, good. So what's the game plan? While Unicron may now inhabit a mortal form, he is still a god and thus cannot be defeated by customary means. Optimus, Wheeljack, this is Bumblebee. We have an urgent situation. Bumblebee, this is Optimus Prime. Proceed. Optimus, can you hear me? Come in, please. Wheeljack, do you read? That hit we took did some damage. Receiver's operational, but we can't transmit. Nothing. You have your voice back. Now is not the time to go radio silent. Optimus, in the event that you can hear us, Unicron has found his way back to Cybertron. Repeat, the Chaos Bringer is here, on our soil, in possession of Megatron's body. Wheeljack, ensure that the Lightspeed Drive is still fully operational. So what now? I mean, besides hoping Optimus got the message. We figure out why Unicron's here. And what he wants. The big U could have taken Earth behind our backs. Why come back to Cybertron? There would be only one reason, Wheeljack. To destroy the spark of his archenemy, Primus. But that's the core of our planet. It isn't fair. How many more times do we have to save a world? Have to fight for the survival of our home? Regrettably, the struggle between creation and destruction is an eternal one. And the battle lines which separate the two run through the very spark of Cybertron. Good and evil. Order and chaos. One victorious, one vanquished. Each forming the core of their own separate worlds. Cybertron and Earth. And now, the darkness has followed us all the way home. Tracks, the Autobot spoke the truth. Other Predacons do exist. So it seems they took flight here. Locating my new brethren will be a futile endeavor, unless I allow them to locate me. Vitals are improving. You will be back on your struts in good time. Exactly how long is good time? Because with Optimus missing in action, we could really use Ultra Magnus's counsel. Bumblebee, we have each been witness to those among us who have risen above their station time and again. Wreckers, scouts, even field medics. The Chaos Bringer is at our doorstep. And now more than ever before, we cannot afford to wait for salvation. We'll launch an attack on Darkmount, provided Unicron's still there. Or, first attempt to locate him, in the event he is not. The beacon, it worked. Predaking? Alive? 
You know this primitive life form? Yes. A warrior once under my command, though I thought he had perished in battle. How fortunate that I was wrong, for Predaking is a loyal and powerful combatant who could very well be the greater instrument of destruction which you seek. Megatron? Warrior! I call upon you to serve your master. In the name of the mighty legions of Predacons who preceded me, I shall never again yield to your charge. But I will heed your previous advice and face my true enemy as a beast! <laughs> You dare to deceive me and have both of us destroyed? Perhaps not destroyed. Just damaged enough that our shared form will no longer be of use to you and force you to abandon what remains. For regaining my free will, even over a mangled and deficient frame, is preferable to enduring a waking life as your slave. For your insolence, I will only make you endure greater suffering. of which you spoke by peering directly into your mind. summoned me to the middle of nowhere. Because I have located our army. The clone sniffed out quite the mother load, wouldn't you say? I recommend that we utilize the warship's operating system to search for Megatron's life signal. Doc, that remodel who kicked our tailpipes? He might have looked and sounded like old Buckethead, but it wasn't him. That much I know. But even if a fraction of Megatron's spark still flickers within his body, the ship scanners may pick it up. Someday. Now stop fooling around and return to the task at hand. I do find it curious that I am not the only one currently seeking the remains of mighty legions. It cannot be. It defies logic. Lord Megatron. But, but how? You, uh... Oh, what does it matter? Our master is back. And looking far more imposing than ever. My liege, 
Rest assured, we have been working tirelessly in your absence to build an army powerful enough to conquer Cybertron. I do not wish to conquer this world. I wish to eradicate it. Uh, 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 apologies, Lord Megatron. I, I can't say that I'm following. Silence, fool! Your master is under my control. I am the destroyer of worlds, the bringer of chaos, and the lord of the undead. Unicron. I say we show the lord of the undead what it's like to be unliving. Rip them to shreds. Megatron's life signal. So somewhere inside that new body armor, he's still alive? He's perished and returned before. A phenomenon no doubt aided by the blood of Unicron, which has coursed through his veins. The coordinates indicate he's left Darkmount. Triangulating his exact position. We were there earlier today. Predaking's refuge? Unicron's retracing our steps? Whoa, wait. What in Alpha Trion's beard is that? My legion, arise and purge this world with your dragon fire! It defies all science. We're doomed! Given that we are dealing with Unicron himself, the energy mask can be only one thing. Dark Energon. But for what purpose? We all saw it. The valley was filled with ancient Predacon bones. Unicron's raising an undead army. One currently traveling across the Hydrax Plateau towards the Well of All Sparks, the most direct route to Cybertron's core. And Primus. seeks to access our planet's core from the same point of entry that we used to restore it. 
No doubt with every intention of undoing our efforts. So what do we do? We put ourselves between Unicron's army and the well. Our strongest assets are this warship and whatever relics might be stored in its vault. Last time I looked, just the Polarity Gauntlet and the Immobilizer. Hopefully the genuine article this time. I'll round up the secret weapons. Bulkhead, think you can pilot this ship? Con engineering. User-friendly, right? Ratchet, you've given your all to save this world once already. Where are you taking us? We have a right to know! Greetings, fellow Decepticons. Starscream, thank the stars! We can finally escape this dreaded ship! No, Doctor. We must, in fact, take this ship. By whatever means necessary. Primary fusion cannons, null rays, ion blasters. Everything we need to stand a fighting chance against Unicron's army. B, in case I never get another chance to say this, you've really proved your mettle. I'd like to think my actions always spoke louder than my words, R.C. But it didn't hurt to watch and learn from the best. It would be nice if Optimus showed up about now. I was referring to a powerful little two-wheeler I know. Autobots, surrender this warship! can freeze bots in their tracks before it's activated. And in case you're wondering, Smokescreen is in no position to come to your rescue right now. <sighs> Scrap. Skylinks, look. One of us. Indeed, Darksteel. Most likely our predecessor. The burial ground. Desecrated. Strip mind of all that remained of our ancestors. <laughs> you should have been here to see them rise and shine. They live? If you call being undead living. Dark magic. Perpetrated by the demon who lives in Megatron's skin. Just be glad you're alive, so the demon can pull your strings. Do you not comprehend the scope of this tragedy? We three are proof that our mighty race might once again have flourished. Their remains must be reclaimed, if for no other reason than to be properly laid back to rest. And who made you boss? I am not your boss. I am your king! Nah, Scream won't use it. He needs us if he's gonna stand any chance of surviving Unicron. You misunderstand. I do not intend to use this warship for battle, but for quickly getting as far as possible from this doomed planet. Earth would be nice, now that Unicron no longer seems to be calling it home. Shut up, you! Now, move away from the controls, bulkhead, or get stiff. There's just one thing you've overlooked, Scream. That device you're holding? Not the immobilizer. What? What do you mean? Will you believe I'm joining the winning team? Knockout! We needed that! Wait, it really was the immobilizer?
Predator King. An impressive display from my creations. But would it not be more logical to employ your might elsewhere at this time? I hope Unicron destroys you first! Why'd you do it, Knockout? Why'd you turn against Starscream? Even if I had helped him seize this ship, he would have probably just fired me out of the first airlock. Oh, and he's rude. Are we there yet? Right on schedule. And so is Unicron. My own warship. Demon hordes, take flight and eviscerate them! You called it, B. And to think Optimus almost passed down the Matrix to me. Whoa, what? Yeah, I said it. But right place, right time doesn't mean right bot. I know that now. won't fix up. Of defense. I would recommend leaving that to those more suited for the task. Skylinks! Dark Steel! Allow nothing to enter the well!
Really? This is how it ends? We're not losing our planet. Not without taking Unicron with it. What? A familiar resonance. Pure energy. Not unlike Primus. One I have not encountered since ancient days. They all spark! Optimus. I never thought I'd be so happy to see that big rig. We must keep the Allspark from Unicron's reach. I thought the container was indestructible. Indeed. But if this vessel once trapped the Allspark, I fear that it can also be emptied of it. The Prime Returns! Thank you, Prime, for delivering the All Spark so that I may erase it from existence. Not while I stand before you, Unicron. Megatron, you and I once united to save a world from Unicron. We must do so again. Megatron may hear you. He cannot help you. For he is enduring eternal suffering. Your efforts to protect Cybertron's most sacred relic are futile. My legion is within reach of Primus, your planet's very core. And we both know that the Allspark cannot thrive in a poisoned well. Downside to wearing metal near a polarity gauntlet, you're subject to the laws of magnetism. Optimus, go! Save the Allspark! Uh, uh, I've been worse. So how are we gonna get that thing to safety? By the only means available to us, under these most dire of circumstances. The very survival of our species upon this, or any world, depends upon it. <laughs> of pure energy, Unicron's anti-spark was vulnerable to this reliquary of the Primes. But if he's in there, where's... Raise the all-spark! Master, you're alive! Indeed. Your new battle armor will take things to the next level, my liege. Together, we will reunite all Decepticons and once again grind Cybertron under your mighty heel. No! What? 
Why? Because I now know the true meaning of oppression, and have thus lost my taste for inflicting it. <laughs> You've clearly been traumatized, Master. A good power down and a stroll around the smelting pit will put you back in touch with your inner warlord. Enough! The Decepticons are no more, and that is final. Yes, well, we all have plenty to think about, don't we? This is not quite how I envisioned my rise to the throne, but since Lord Megatron all but surrendered it to me, I will gladly revive the Decepticons in my name. Though, perhaps a throne is more befitting of an actual king? I am not here to seize thrones, Starscream. <laughs> but to settle scores. <laughs> In order to both protect the Allspark and secure Unicron's defeat, it was necessary for me to empty the vessel's contents. Into where? The Matrix of Leadership. As such, my own spark can no longer be separated from the multitude of others within me. Are you telling us that you are now one with the Allspark? That's what you say when someone kicks the... To not return the Allspark to the well would be to prevent future generations of new life from existing on Cybertron. My quest must be completed. Optimus, I didn't return to save a life, only to lose the one I care most about. Ratchet's restored planets. He'll find a way to save you. We can turn to Vector Sigma. Just like we did before. Because the Matrix must now be relinquished with the Allspark, it cannot be restored or passed down to another. But while this may very well mark the end of the Age of Primes, leadership can be earned with or without the Matrix. And in my view, you have each acted as a Prime. Well, I never really had the best role models. As even Megatron has demonstrated on this day, every sentient being possesses the capacity for change. I ask only this of you, fellow Autobots. Keep fighting the noblest of fights. You can count on us to keep the peace. Lament my absence. For in my spark, I know that this is not the end. But merely a new beginning. Simply put, another transformation.